Welcome back, Hobbits. Today I'm going to tell you who was in The Ring of Power Episodes 1 and 2. First, you have Galadriel. So, Galadriel is a pretty known character. She's in The Lord of the Rings, but she appears younger, much younger in this series. She is the fair haired lady. A lot of story is wrapped around a Galadriel, so keep your eye on her. Next, you actually have Elrond. So, Elrond is also in The Lord of the Rings, um, but he appears much younger in this. So keep your eye on Elrond, he's actually a very, very known character and he plays a massive part in the books and the story of Lord of the Rings. So it should be great to see where this character goes. Next you have a character called Finrod, which we don't get to see much of, but Finrod is actually the brother of Galadriel. Next up is Gil-galad. So we get to see Gil-galad actually in the Lord of the Rings when uh, Sauron battles against the elves. But uh, Gil-galad in this comes through as a more dominant character. So we get to see a lot more dialogue from him and more character development, which is also really great. We have Arondir. So Arondir is a new character to the screens. He actually grew up in Beleran before its destruction, but uh, plays a kind of side main character role in the series which is pretty interesting so we'll see where this character goes next we have bronwyn bronwyn is actually uh, the mother of theo and was the village healer of tir harad leading straight into theo which is the son of bronwyn so theo is a young kid who actually found the bearings of a sauron sigil i can see this character playing a big part so next in is nori uh, or you can go as eleanor brandyfoot Nori looks like she's going to be the main character for the Halfwoods. Um, she also discovers the Media Man, so she has the only connection in the series to this character so far. Ah, Mysterious Halbrand, the character found at sea with Galadriel who's traveling with her, so nothing really to know on this character yet, so we'll see where he takes us. Next up is Calibrimbor, easily the most noticeable name in the series. Calibrimbor plays a massive part in the forging of the rings and, and to be deceived by Anatar. Now for my favourite character, Durin IV. Um, he's the descendants of the Durins before him, probably the ruler of Khazad-dûm uh, after his father. Also to mention is Disa, which is Durin IV's wife. Which leads straight into Durin the Third, who is the father of Durin the Fourth, of course, um, and has a great resemblance to his father before him. Now, for the character that we all can't wait to see is the Stranger. Nothing to say too much about this guy, other than the fact that he came down in the media and was discovered by Nori. So we'll see where he takes us. Next to note is a few honorable mentions, which is Marigold and Largo Brandyfoot, Poppy Proudfellow. And then you've also got Sadok Burrows and Vilma. These are all the Harfoots as well. And then we have uh, Thondir, which is also in the company of Gladriel. We have Revion, which is the guard tower leader. We have Wildrag, which is the guy in the tavern. Medhor, which is the person traveling with Arondir. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, and I'll catch you in the next video.